Let's learn how to deploy Linux and Windows virtual machines into the Azure cloud using Terraform. From the Azure portal, when we want to create a virtual machine, we need to provide information like the subscription, the resource group, the name of the instance, the region to which we want to deploy the service, the base image that we want to use for our virtual machine, and a lot of other configurations related to the disks that we want to use with, with the VM, the networking side, the management of that VM, and a lot more. So here, we want to create a Terraform template that will provide all of those configuration into that template. Then we want, when we want to deploy that service, that will be deployed through the Terraform template. So I want to deploy to Azure. So for that, I need to use here the Azure uh, Resource Manager or the Azure Provider for Terraform, which is available on this documentation. And that one will support multiple Azure resources from web apps, databases, Kubernetes clusters, and also virtual machines. So here I go to choose Azure RM Linux virtual machine. And here I get all the documentation for how to use this template along with a sample template that was provided here. So that will create a couple of resources that should be provisioned with the virtual machine. What is interesting here is that in this documentation, we'll find more details about all of those uh, attributes, how we use them, and how we should configure them. Because sometimes there is also some uh, dependencies between those attributes themselves. So here you would find all the necessary documentation to understand how that works. And again here, I want to give you also this link, which will also give you even more recommendations for how to create a Terraform a template that will deploy the uh, Linux virtual machine into the Azure cloud. And I'll be uh, using actually the template provided in this uh, documentation to deploy that service. So into here, you will find the, uh, the template that we'll be using today. I have already uploaded that template because I've made some tweaks to it and I have deployed it into this O6 VM Linux into which you will find the uh, template. That same template is on my local machine here on VS Code where here I have the main TF file where I'm, I'm using the Azure provider for Terraform. In this template, I go to create a resource group because each resource in Azure should be located within a resource group. And then the virtual machine should live within a virtual network. So for that here, I'm creating a VNet and I'm providing the name for that VNet, the address space, location, and so on. Then into that VNet, I need to provide a subnet. I'll uh, pass it a name and then I need to uh, have here a public IP to point to my virtual machine. And then here I've created an NSG network security group that will be used to secure my uh, network. And then here I've created the NIC or the network interface. Uh, this is uh, the one that will enable uh, co the connection between my virtual machine to the subnet. Then I've uh, created that association uh, implicitly here so that will connect my NIC into the uh, security group to the NSG. Then here I'm creating some random ID in order to use that to create a storage account because yeah, those storage accounts they should have a unique name. So we can either make sure the name does exist before creating the resource or we can uh, try to create random uh, numbers and append those numbers into that storage account name. This will use the local redundant storage. So you see here lots of configurations available that we can use. Then I go to create a resource, TLS private key, in order to use this to authenticate to my virtual machines. And till the end here, the last resource that will be created is actually the Linux virtual machine. So that one will have a name, a location, resource group name, network interface, and a size for uh, that uh, VM that defines the CPU and memory and the OS disk. And then here, more information about that uh, OS disk and the storage account type that it should use. Then we have here the version for that image. So this is uh, Ubuntu server. It's using the V1804 LTS, the latest version available on Azure. 
and then here some information for the admin uh, user and uh, the SSH keys that should be uh, used for that then configuration for the boot diagnostics so this will send those diagnostics into a storage account great and here I have the variables where I have uh, defined the variables that I'm using like the name of the resource group the IP name the subnet the vnet the network interface the virtual machine name itself and their values are defined into this terraform.tf vars where here I'm overriding those um, variables I'm assigning values to them so now let's go to deploy this uh, template so to do that here I'll go to bring the command line new terminal and then I'll make sure I go inside the folder 06 which contains my template and from here I go first actually terraform um, fmt I want to make sure my template is well formatted great once it's well formatted here now I'll go to initialize my terraform repo so here I use terraform init and this will go to download the uh, provider for Azure which is using here the version 237 which is the newest version per today great now once that's installed now I'll go to use the command terraform validate in order to validate my template once my template is valid here now I'll go to apply so I run terraform terraform plan dash out then the tf plan because I want to I want to put that uh, the changes into this tf plan so now terraform is calculating is generating the plan and here it's generating all the changes that will be made so everything with green plus sign means that a resource will be created so we see here to be created with, uh, with this configuration that we have provided and also with the default configuration if we didn't change that into the main template great so this template tells me here there is 11 resources to be added 0 to change 0 to destroy so now if I'm okay with those resources that will be uh, created here I can go to apply this template so I'll do here terraform apply than the tf plan so i'll go to apply the tf plan that was generated before once the deployment was done successfully here we can see that now we have 11 resources that was created successfully and we have here some outputs uh, created by this template so one output is this one tls private key uh, that's gonna output the uh, key that will be used to sign in and then here I have two other outputs vm id so that's the id of my linux virtual machine that will be created and this is its own public ip address for that vm those variables or those outputs comes from this outputs.tf file because here I have asked it for those outputs so terraform will output or will write those outputs in the uh, command line here after that resource was created now let's go to check if this resource was created successfully from the azure portal so i switch here to azure and i'll go to select or to uh, show all my resource groups and from here i get one resource group that is called my terraform rg and into this resource group i should be able to see all my resources that were created by that terraform template so into here i can see that storage account the virtual machine the disk the network interface the nsg the public ip address and the virtual network now if i want to delete all of these resources then i just go to run the command terraform destroy i hope it was clear thank you